Welcome back. It's a new day and our grass has grown. That means it's time to make hay. So we're going to mow it, use a tether and tet it, use a wind rower, turn it into wind rows so we can easily pick it up with our forage wagon. And then we'll go sell our hay. And uh, I think we're going to time lapse all the field work at once in one. And I'll meet you back when we're going to the store. Then we're going to buy something to groom these fields so that our fertilizer state goes to the full amount. So let's get started with that. I think that the uh, mower deck there might not like our wide tires. That's the only thing that's changed since last time we used them. So let me go change that back to the regular tires. See if that helps. Can't imagine the grass is too long for the mower. Well, the wide tires were a good idea, I thought. Let's see. Alright, something's going on here. Let me see if I can figure it out, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I figured out what was going on. The mower deck was actually going too low, and it was lifting the rear of the tractor right off the ground. You can see it still lifts it up a little bit now, but now we have traction. It was just lifting it up too much, and taking the... Uh, the rear of the tractor right off the ground. I went ahead and put the wide tires back on because they weren't the problem. And I like the wide tires. So, alright, now we're at it. I'll go ahead and get mowing. And we're going to mow, do all the other stuff, and I'll see you when we go to the store. Something more, you gave me so. 
so much less I wonder why I stay I am wasting all my time
Your smile keeps playing your miles away, yeah I would go overseas just like that Don't overthink it, why can't you stay here? Give me the call and I'll just be there like that I don't understand it Don't you keep me together when everything around me Keeps me under pressure, yeah It's so overwhelming But I will wait forever So you can come and get it I don't understand it I don't understand it Try so much to get back That's something you thought I had To drive me crazy But I still want you here So just give me the call and I'll just be there like that I don't understand it Don't you keep me together when everything around me Keeps me under pressure, yeah It's so overwhelming Okay, so obviously this is our last load of hay. Our last wagon load. Um, what was that? Four and a half or so? Not bad. We haven't even fully fertilized the field, so that was good. We got 1,327 from that, so we'll have... Oh, what was that? Just about 10 and a half, maybe 11... 11,000 from hay today. Do 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 money tab. 11,308. 11,308 dollars today from hay. Not bad. Especially since that's only one of our two fields now and it wasn't fully fertilized. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the forge wagon back and drop it off and pick up the trailed lifter from farm and I will meet you at the store because we're going to get an implement to groom our grass fields. I'll see you over there. That tree that was obviously in the way just paid $1,147. Much more useful like that. And now we can expand that yard a little bit. Um, because apparently we're getting more implements. Uh, the trailed lifter and the thing we're about to get. And then we can put the tether and the wind rower next to each other instead of in front of each other. So. I guess an expansion was due, and now we have no reason not to, because we took the tree down. So over here at the store, we'll park right here. Let's go to the store and do a little shopping. We are going to get under grassland care. I was going to get a roller, but then I found this thing. Uh, grasser. 
and it does the same thing but instead of rolling you drop it and just drag it along the ground but it should do the same thing to our grass fields that a roller would do but this is six meters wide and only weighs 587 kilograms so it'll be easy to utilize it's three thousand dollars we'll go ahead and buy that So it should be easy to use. And uh, I don't know that we were going to find a roller nearly as wide for nearly as cheap that our little tractor would be able to pull. You know what I mean? There's a balance of, balance of things going on when you're finding new tools and implements. We should hook up here. Beautiful. All right, let me get this back. And then we'll hook it up to the tractor and get those fields taken care of. Be over there. and put away hook this up to the tractor and uh, see what it does to the fields should like I said act just like a roller so if we can back up to it here get hooked up unfold it start going this way we'll go around the edge first and then if we drop it down just drag it along all right now let's double check so this part of the field harvested 50% fertilized this part of the field growing plus 98% yield bonus growth stage one out of three 96% fertilized perfect grass fields are awesome like that you don't actually have to fertilize them you just roll them or in this case drag this thing across them I'm going to go ahead and do this field and I'll, I'll do our other field I think this was what 30% fertilized or something Oh no, it is 50% fertilized. Um, but this will turn it into 100% fertilized. And then they'll be at the same stage. So we will have one day to harvest everything instead of needing to do it every other day. So I'll go ahead and get this work done. See you soon. I just realized we are dangerously low on fuel. Let's remedy that. I think part of this new year that we'll make be a little fuel stand. Which one do we want? Let's use, we have $30,000. Let's use this one because it has a little cover. 
Ooh, we are too close in the trees. Put it right there where we'll go by. But it'll be out of the way of the rest of our equipment. I think that'll give us... Yeah, that'll give us plenty of yard. We'll put our... Well, maybe kitty corner a little bit. Be close to this tree. Snug it right up in this corner. Boop. Like that. Let us change a little bit right here. We know that we can pull right up to it. And scare whatever that is. Dead branches or whatnot. Back to painting. Voila, no more dead branches. Okay. Let's this right here for a second. Hopefully we got enough fuel to make it over here. Alright, stop right there. You gotta put fuel in it first. We have $28,000. Let's do... 2,000 liters should last us for a while. We're gonna get 2,000 liters of fuel. Back in here and refill. There we go. Alright. Let's get right back at it. Finish this field up and do the other field. See you in a minute. as good as these fields are going to get. That is... Yes, 100% fertilized. It needs rolling, but we needed to do that after the seeds, and we don't have a roller. So this is just going to stay at 95% yield bonus. Which isn't bad. 95% is pretty good. That's almost as good as you can get. Within 5%. You know? So... Go ahead and plop this down over here for now. Uh, next time, we'll probably expand this yard. And I'm not sure what else we'll do. I'm sure I have other projects we can work on. What I'm thinking right now for the future to farm, in order to start making decent money to buy land to start logging, is... I think we'll harvest hay on both fields next time. Now that it's the best yield we're going to get. Yeah, that's 98% and 100% fertilized. 98% yield bonus. So now that these fields are as good as they're going to get, we'll do a hay harvest and use the proceeds from that and the 26,000 we already have. And I think... At that point, we'll try to buy a baler and bale wrapper. Or maybe a baler that has a bale wrapper on it. Um, one in the combined. What kind of prices are we looking at for balers? If we were to go... These ones are combined, but those are huge, aren't they? Yeah. That's square bales. I like the round bales. 110,000 for a fast bale. 
Bass bail is nice because you don't have to stop. It does it all in one. So the quick bail is the same way. But we can't pull either of those. Let's see. What do we got down here? Nope. No. Need something smaller. I said smaller, I guess. I guess this is the only one we can actually legitimately pull, and we're not going to be able to do that. We'll have to see if we could pull this one. It says it's 100 horsepower, so we might be kind of slow at bailing. That's 48,000 for that, and then what, we would need a bail wrapper. Which would be this. So you were talking $70,000. We're not going to get that out of one set of hay. Oh, that one's cheaper. Could we use that? We. Oh, that's front loader. Not oh, you can do three point in front loader. Oh, handler. Nice. Okay. Port roller. I don't know what that's for. Or for maybe when you have it lowered. So we could technically probably use that. And then we're going to need a way to move them as well. So this might end up costing us more than I was thinking. We can't get a front loader. So this might be a little further in the future. Hay wagon for 8,000. We could bail, but we're not going to be able to wrap. Yeah, we'll have to think about it. We may have a couple more, more hay harvests before we can save up enough to get ourselves going for silage. But with what we're making off of hay on here, I think we're going to make a substantial bit with silage because hay sells for... Uh, $191 per thousand liters at wholesale. And silage sells for $585 per thousand liters at wholesale. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the hay and silage yield off of the field would be the same. I think that's how that works, because we're cutting the same grass. And I don't no, I don't think changing it into hay or silage changes how much you're working with. I'll have to look into that. We'll see. But either way, we will more than quadruple what we're getting off a of field monetarily if we switch to silage. So at some point, it, it just makes good financial sense to do that, even if it does have a substantial startup cost to get into it switching over to silage will let us save up money much quicker to buy a piece of land and buy some logging equipment to start logging which is what our ultimate goal is we'll get there we're just going to take a little work and finesse in the meantime but that's all we have for today i will see you next time have a wonderful day bye